Let's Play videos are one of the most popular genres on video sharing websites. Users show themselves playing while commenting on the games. Two German gamers are even earning money at it. Ah, oh, you missed when I hit you. I did not. You sure did. You crumbled, you loser. No, I'd be kaput. You missed it. I'm smoking, get it? Yeah, you stinker. Starting next month, smoking's banned in clubs and bars. Good. <laughs> they call themselves Gronk and Sarazar. Online, Eric Ranja and Valentin Rommel are the stars of Germany's Let's Play scene. They even do a weekly live show recorded in a Cologne TV studio. Every month, their videos get around 45 million hits. Of course, we're making videos primarily for young people. But that doesn't mean the Let's Play are for kindergartners. We really try to make them grade A, naturally. We focus on and play what's fun for us. Sometimes we play games that haven't done so well in terms of ratings, but that are fun for us. A quick check of YouTube reveals several million Let's Play videos. Gronk is the most successful German player. The 36-year-old IT specialist started with this clip three years ago. It's an audio review of the adventure game Alods. What's weird is that one of the six survivors, or however many there are, only two of them make it down here. I used it as speech therapy because I wanted to be able to communicate fluently. I was always the listener and never a good talker, but that's changed. The Minecraft clips are some of his most frequently watched videos. In this game, everything's square. The players wander through infinite cube-shaped 3D landscapes. Leo and Jarna love Minecraft. The two Berlin schoolboys often play against each other and like watching Gronk's videos. He got an early start. Minecraft wasn't as well known before, and he made himself a monopoly with Let's Play. Yeah, the others only talk about the games and background stuff. But Gronk, he talks about his childhood too. Four years ago, Gronk and Sarazar set up the company Play Massive, an online gaming publication. It's financed through advertising. Now it employs 20 people, among them several Let's Players. But Gronk and Sarazar are the power behind it. People don't want robotic TV-type presenters who just blather. They want real, authentic personalities. It's true online. People who are themselves are the ones who make it. And that's the recipe for success, if you can have one at all. Let's Play video game success has drawn the attention of gaming experts. Michael Lieber organizes the German Games Tage. It's a Berlin-based trade show for game developers, and Gronk and Sarazar will attend. They get you by taking you on a journey into the game. They're good at it, touching right on emotional experiences you have as a gamer yourself. Gronk and Sarazar have branded themselves. As super homies, they're even shooting new videos on holiday. It wouldn't work if we weren't such good friends. We can laugh at and with each other. We can say, hey, dummy, and no one takes it the wrong way. We each know what makes the other tick. Gronk and Sarazar get tons of fan mail. They're two big kids who've made their hobby into their job. And many viewers are hoping to one day do the same. Shift says, boys and their toys. <laughs>